Hello everybody, Shelby Vole here again. Before you start using this video, you need to make sure that you have the latest firmware installed on your board and that you have set your board up so that you can get to a hover. I want to start off by showing you a couple things you need to do in Clean Flight, which is one, you need to change some CLI commands. First one you need to change is your loop time. Each ESC has its own designated loop time based on its refresh rate. Also change the loop factor, that's number two. This video is filmed using my Dominator V2's DVR function. In this clip, I'm showing you the stock PIDs in base flight. Clean flight, the PIDs are almost identical. They are for roll and pitch, however, they're not for level and yaw. The one major difference in clean flight is that you will be selecting PID controller 1 in the upper left hand corner on the PID tuning tab. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is start with our P settings. Go ahead and start with the stock PIDs, then raise the P setting a lot until you can start seeing those high oscillations. Remember high vibrations or oscillations means you need to lower your P. In this clip I found the highest P setting and I'm getting the vibrations that I should see right there. So now it's time to start lowering them. In this clip, I've already lowered the P settings, but I did it very slowly, or low increments. That's the key. Lower it slowly until the point in which there are no more high oscillations. The other key is to make sure you test on punch out to make sure there's no oscillations there. If so, you're still too high on your P settings. In this clip right here, you'll start to notice that it's getting smoother, and that means I'm getting really close to the P setting that I need to be at on both hover and on punch out. This clip right here, it's even smoother. I'm really close to dialing in my P. I'm starting to get a little bit satisfied with it. You keep repeating this process over and over until you get what you're looking for. So trial and error. Right here, it's starting to get really nice. Still a little bit of oscillations. You can see them subtly and you still need to dial them out by lowering your P. Again, high oscillations, not low. We'll get to that in a minute. In this clip right here, you should really notice how smooth it is on punch out, as well as when I bank right and left and I'm flying around. That's what you're looking for. This is the smooth flying that you want, that you're looking for P. Now it's time to start dialing I. I is the next setting and you have to go in order P, I, and then D. Now let's start tuning I. The things we want to look for in I are slow oscillations on ascent and slow wobbles when you're descending. Now let's start tuning I. First thing we need to do is raise it. Raise it until the point we start to see that slow oscillation at hover and as well as punch out. Once you've seen that, then that means we need to lower the I until it goes away. We also need to be checking for a slow wobble when we descend. If we start to see that, that means we've gone too low and we need to raise the eye back up. In this clip, you will notice that that slow wobble is still present on descent. That means, that again, I need to raise my eye to get rid of it. Once it goes away, then we're ready to move on to the last check for eye setting, and that's called drifting. When you pitch forward, your angle of attack needs to stay there. It doesn't need to drift. If it's drifting, again, that means your eye setting is too low and you need to adjust it. This applies for both pitch and roll. In this clip, I raised my eye settings to eliminate that slow wobble. If you notice, that wobble is starting to go away. It's still somewhat present, so I still need to adjust my eye settings by raising them ever so slightly. In this clip right here, you should be able to notice that the slow oscillations in the wobble on descent are starting to go away, if not completely eliminated. Now the Mini feels like it's getting pretty locked in and really smooth on flying. So now what I'm going to do is move on to D. D is the last setting that we adjust. Notice how I'm flicking left and right. That's checking for bounce back. If there's any bounce back, that means 
that your D setting is low and you need to raise it. In this clip, I did one more check on my eye settings. I raised them slightly and it looks really, really nice. So I move right on to D and stay with D. Left and right roll looks really nice. It's getting really locked in. It's ever so slight of a bounce back. And then checking my pitch. Pitch is always gonna have a higher D value because there's more mass on the ends with all of our FPV gear. So I keep checking for it. And what you're gonna look for is just that dialed in, locked in feeling. In this clip right here, I've already made about five more adjustments on my D settings. I'm fairly happy with it. I think it gives a really locked in, dialed in feeling. And the customer that I was tuning this for felt the same way. So I decided it was time to move on and tune the yaw. And everyone should be tuning their yaw PIDs. It really helps out with that locked in feeling. In this clip right here, this is demonstrating the stock settings of yaw pids. It's mushy, it's not locked in, it's real sluggish and slow. In this clip right here, I've already raised my I and D settings a lot from the stock settings. And I've also lowered my P settings from stock. The P settings really, really high and you need to bring it down right away. And then jump that I up and jump that D up and then start your tuning process. In this clip, I've already done three or four more adjustments on my PIDs for my yaw. It's a little snappier, it's a little more locked in, there's a lot more room for adjusting, but it's a good, good starting point. In this clip, I've made some final adjustments to my yaw PID settings. The customer's happy with it, so I decided to just go ahead and leave it. And then I do a last fly around this final clip is a before and after. Left hand side is before with stock pids. Right hand side is after, finally tuned. I hope you found this video very informative and it really helps you out. If you can, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, share the video. I'll send some more videos out soon.